Hi guys, Phil Short here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're doing a little shootout between the V4 the Kraken and V4 the Sheriff. <laughs> Okay, so let's dig straight into this first one then. So this is probably, I'm going to just say it right off the bat, possibly my favourite of all of the V4 range that they've designed so far. I've had experience using all of them, uh, apart from with the Copper, to be fair, which is the latest one. Okay, but the Channel 1 of the Kraken is my favourite uh, distortion circuit of them. So this is how I've got it set up at the moment. You can kind of see on the board and I've got it wired up in the G2. Normally, if I was using it without a G2 board like this, I would use the four cable method, um, but I'm using the G2, so I don't really need to do that. But this is being fed uh, into the effects loop of the Hampstead uh, amplifier that you can see here on my left, uh, or it's just slightly out of shot there. So let's go through some tones. So um, channel one is kind of based on a Marshall style circuit. So it's more like a JCM 900 or an 800 or kind of that kind of thing. It kind of sounds like a hybrid of that and an older school kind of plexi type thing to me. And then channel two is more akin to something more modern, more high gain, like 5150, something of, of that kind of nature. Now, the first thing that you'll hear when we play the two sounds is uh, channel two has way more gain, more gain than I personally actually use. I don't really play... Uh, metal or anything like that these days. So I, I'm more of like a kind of a, an 80s hard rock type um, player when it comes to the higher gain sort of things. So I prefer channel one with maybe like a tube scream or a boost of some kind hitting the front end of it just to juice it up a little bit more. So it's kind of more like that vintage style high gain, if that's even a thing. It's kind of how I, I play. So for the second channel, you'll hear it's a lot tighter, there's a lot less low end, which work great if you've got a dark guitar like a Les Paul or if you play extended range or something like that. I play Strat style guitars. Generally, I like them fairly bright and snappy. So I find it's a little bit too uh, too lacking in the bass for these kinds of guitars. But anyway, let's, let's get into some sounds. So it's kind of set up to be like a nice chunky rhythm tone at the moment. So here's what it sounds like. Really open and articulate and dynamic. And the thing I love about uh, this pedal is um, just how much dynamic range there is in there. So when I back off the picking, you can hear it really cleans up really nicely. Almost like a pushed clean type thing. And then when I dig in harder with the pick, it really opens up. So it's going to allow my playing to feel very articulate, very dynamically expressive. And I suppose it is a little bit exposing as well, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Okay, so that's with the gain um, currently where it's at, what's that, about two o'clock, something like that. So around at that point is where tonally you can kind of hear things start to get a bit thicker, uh, but it still retains all the clarity. So if I dime the gain. <laughs> Not quite as uh, open as before. It's a little bit more compressed, so you can kind of hear things aren't really coming down as much. If I pop it back to where it was. There's a little bit more dynamic headroom uh, left in the tank, which I kind of like. If I back it off to 12. a little bit less thick sounding. If I had a more powerful uh, humbucker then uh, perhaps that would obviously gain up a little bit more. But we're kind of more into ACDC type territory now I guess. Q 
Cool. All right. Fantastic. So if I back the gain right off then. Kind of almost clean if I go into the single coils. A little bit thin sounding perhaps. Let's turn up the bass to compensate. usable sound very cool indeed but this is my favorite position to have it let's turn the bass down a little bit that's where I feel like the circuit really kind of starts to wake up so really cool now before we look at gain two let's just have a look at the uh, little toggle switch that we've got up here so this is our bright switch now at the moment I've left it in the zero position now the purpose of this bright switch is obviously to tame how much high end there is in the signal. So you can use this unit with a whole range of different amplifiers and different power sections in different amps respond completely differently and have different, um, you know, uh, EQ curves to them and all that kind of thing. So for some amps, we might plug into the power section and it sounds way too bright, way too brittle, or it's going to sound... Um, you know too dark or or whatever it is so you can adjust this three point um brightness cap to uh, uh adjust the overall sort of brightness level of the pedal now for me i prefer it in the uh zero position in the middle i feel like you get the the full broadness of the whole tone that's available and i think often sometimes as guitar players we can be a bit afraid of that high end frequencies but we really need those in there to kind of cut through in a mix and to make the guitar really kind of punch through sometimes but you know it'll depend on what kind of guitar you've got what sort of tone you're going for and again this is a very bright guitar maple fretboard maple neck older body but let's just hear how it sounds if we go into the minus one position so here it is for reference in zero and then here it is in minus one So a little bit darker, there's kind of more of a bark to it. Here it is in minus two. Kind of sounds like um, someone's put a blanket over the cab. So for this setup, that's obviously not ideal. Back in the middle. There we go, the tone's kind of completely woken up again. So that's fantastic. Now let's just go through the um, EQ control so you can hear how they affect them. So as you can hear, at around 12 o'clock, everything is kind of in the neutral position. So it's a perfect place to start. And that's basically the you know the sound of of the pedal if you like so um, I would start with it there and then this guitar doesn't have as much bass in it as some of my other guitars so I just dial in just a touch more bass just a little bit just to reinforce that low end especially on a nice A chord if I put it back at 12 it's nice and tight it's going to cut but I kind of want that thump to be there, so. So I've got that thumb. Okay, cool. Now, one of my favorite things to do is I like to boost the front end of that, and I'm gonna use the boost side of the DNM drive to do that. You can see I've got the gain and the level fairly low. So I'm just kind of hitting the front end a little bit gently. So I'm gonna turn that on. <laughs> Thank you. 
So really big, open and broad sound, really cool. And the thing I really like about that channel is it's a very kind of uh, neutral type distortion, if that makes sense. You know, that could be used uh, and be a very usable tone in a whole range of different band settings, not just for like heavy rock, but be just a great lead tone in general, I think. Very organic, very dynamic, um, very fat and, and chewy sounding. You know, all the, all the relevant buzzwords are applicable. So very, very versatile overdrive channel. And I personally find that this works much better for me than say like an amp in the box style pedal, which are great and I've used loads of them over the years, but they kind of do this brick wall thing where they start to compress quite early. And you know, often you'll go from uh, your lower gain pedal sounding nice and open and dynamic, and then you'll go to that high gain pedal and everything feels like it's become smaller. And the nice thing about this essentially being another amplifier in your amplifier is you, you've got proper amplifier distortion and that proper interplay between preamp, um, valve, overdrive and the power section and, and all of those things that are really important to those really authoritative rock tones. So if I just go through like my different sounds here from one through to channel four, here is my clean sound. <laughs> which has just got a wampler tumness in there just to give a bit more brightness. If I take that out, put it back in. Here it's not really uh, adding any gain, really. It's just adding a bit of uh, more brightness to the EQ. Then number two is this um, Majestic Overdrive by J Rocket Audio. So that's um, coming after the tumness. Very open and dynamic sounding. And then uh, number three is that same sound, but I'm using the preamp gain of the G2 just to hotten up the signal so that it's uh, juicing that sound a little bit more. And now if we go to the Kraken in channel four, so all of that will turn off, we'll be taking out the preamp of the amplifier and the Kraken will come in. So that's what the number seven is, WP, it's the wet preamp, uh, which is the preamp that we're using in this current amplifier. If I turn there, you'll see the, the preamp turns off, the Kraken comes on. This is just a noise gate. Don't worry about this, that's just the dry signal if we're using a, a two amp setup for wet dry, which we're not today. So there we go. So all the way through. So it just keeps things sounding really open and organic. Really cool. Okay, let's go to gain number two then. So I'm just gonna turn the gain right down on there. Let's hear how that sounds. <laughs> So you can hear quite a different gain structure. The low mids are kind of gone, that low end thump is, has been dialed back and we've got more kind of upper mid content happening. So for detuned guitars or like much darker sounding guitars, you can hear how that would be really, really beneficial. And the gain with the gain control set here, you can kind of hear they sound pretty similar in terms of the amount of juice that's in the box. So let's see what it sounds like if we turn the gain up a bit more. So for that kind of riffing type stuff, you can hear uh, it's probably a much more useful uh, side of the overdrive. You've got more gain, it's tighter, kind of keeps the uh, tracking of the picking much better. Um, but as I said, for my playing style, kind of uh, stuff that I usually play, 
I try and get that with um, just juicing the front end of it. And that kind of works, works for me. So that's the Kraken pedal. Let's switch over to the Sheriff and see what that sounds like. Okay, so you can hear quite a different flavor to the Kraken. Immediately, there's a lot more bass uh, in this particular um, pedal. So you can kind of tell they've kind of thought about um, guys who might be more interested in uh, more vintage voiced style guitars, maybe naturally have less low end in the pickups. So there's a little bit more kind of bass in there, especially if you were playing a, a Strat with just single coils, you know, that would... Uh... <laughs> you know, put the bottom end weight back in. So that's a really cool thing, which is really cool. For me, it's a little bit too bassy, so I'm actually just gonna take some of that bass out, and you can see I've already pushed the treble a bit as well. So that's a little bit more balanced for me. And you can hear it's a more vintage style type uh, overdrive circuit as well. So of course, you know, it's meant to be more martially in that kind of sound. So it is a little bit more old school in that kind of flavor, and I think it does that really, really well. Let's hear what that sounds like if we juice it with a, a bit of the boost. There you go. Okay, cool. So that's channel one. So that sounds cool. Let's hear what the gain sounds like. We back the volume control off. Okay, so that's a really nice, very usable kind of pop rock type sound. Maybe if you were kind of into uh, indie rock or like, um, I don't know, uh, whoever, Kings of Leon or someone like that. That'd be a really great usable rhythm tone. Let's um, juice it up a bit more. Let's max it out. Probably a little bit too bass heavy, I think. Okay, let's go to channel two. Much tighter, again, so channel two, we've got kind of a theme here, it's a much tighter channel. out the game. Let's turn the bass back up a little bit. Let's add a bit of delay to that as well. Yeah. 
yeah, almost kind of uh, Van Halen, Van Halen esque. Maybe a, a little bit, um, you know, a little bit kind of bass here with less teeth to the sound. Uh, but yeah, it's cool. It's a very, very cool sound. Now let's hear how the master volumes interact with the gain on this as well. So if we go back to channel one. <laughs> I didn't show that with the Kraken because it doesn't really um, impact the tone with the Kraken quite so much, but it's very, very noticeable with this. So um, we're kind of uh, hearing that interaction between the master volume and the preamp like you would on Old Marshall. <laughs> saturation, more mid-range, come back in. Maybe an old school kind of metal type thing. Okay, let's hear the bright switch. So for my setup, the zero setting on both pedals is definitely the go-to setting for that. So that's V4 the Kraken and V4 the Sheriff by Victory Amps guys. Let me know in the comments which one you prefer and why you would choose it. Please make sure you like and subscribe, click that bell as well and make sure you click the all so you get all the notifications for when new content comes out. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook. Until next time guys, have a great one, I'll see you later. Bye.